Well, let's go this way first. Oh God, I've fallen and I can't get up. Before we go any further with this episode, I'm here editing. It's late at night, but I just got the latest update for Pokemon Go. So real quickly, I just want to go through it and show you guys what's changed. The first thing, obviously, is something we just talked about. The metals. You can see that there are new icons for all the type metals, and they're divided. So it doesn't show you progress on this main screen anymore, but if you select a metal, it'll tell you about it. School kid, catch 200 normal type Pokemon. I have the gold medal. I get a plus three normal type catch bonus. And then right down here at the bottom of the medal, you can see 747, that's my total. Actually, you can also swipe between medals, which is a nice touch. So bird keeper, punk girl, ruin maniac, hiker, bug catcher, swimmer, gardener. Those are my gold medals. For silver, black belt, this is for fighting types. I get the plus two fighting type catch bonus. We still don't know what percentage or how much that actually increases my chances of catching a fighting type Pokemon. If you tap on the empty space where the gold medal would be, it'll show you your progress towards the gold medal. So right now I have 128, I need 72 more fighting types, and I'll get the gold medal. Um, same goes for gold. Ghost, I have not even... <laughs> I've got 18 ghost types. So for that, I get a plus one catch bonus. The Pokemon Go Plus icon is moved up here. It's a little less obtrusive. Let's connect that real quick. So that's a nice small change, but very nice. Obviously this update also includes the changes to training and prestige, but since I'm here editing, I'm not at a gym. We're going to go over that tomorrow and we'll talk all about the changes and uh, see what's going on with that. There are a couple other small changes. When you're looking at eggs now, you can see that the distance looks a little bit different. According to the update notes that Niantic posted, the distance on your egg screen will now update without you having to close and reopen it. So if you just have the egg screen open, it should continuously update with the distance on the eggs. And one more thing that's changed, according to those update notes, is that the animation time for evolutions is now shorter. And that's a pretty big deal if you like to do Lucky Egg mass evolutions for experience. This means you're going to be able to fit in more evolutions to one Lucky Egg. So I'm just going to evolve a Pidgey right now and we'll see how much faster it actually is. as long of a pause at the end there. Definitely a lot faster. Now a lot of times when Niantic updates the app like this, there are also a lot of small changes that they don't really announce or say anything about. So I'm sure over the next couple days we'll continue to discover new things that have changed in the app and I'll make sure that we stay updated on that. And again tomorrow we'll go over the training update and we'll talk all about how that works and give you everything you need to know about it. Now let's get back to today's episode. After yesterday's nest failure, today Chance and I want to find some more reliable nests and see if we can catch some Pokemon that we need. So what are you looking for? I'm looking for Slowpoke. Alright, let's sort. There's let's click on Species. Actually, I need Clefay out. Um, Just select everything that you want. We'll go through and... Alright. Okay, so what we can do is we can go to Clefairy, then we'll go to Slowpoke, and then we'll go to Ghastly. So what do you think of that? Clefairy, Slowpoke, Ghastly. I feel bad for the people in Compton. They're straight out of Compton, but there's barely anything in there. Ness. Wait, food first. Yes. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Nests, easy choice. Food, difficult. Not so much. We'll figure it out. Look at this line. Chance chose Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna hit the drive-through and we'll eat on the way to our first nest. Oh, peace. 
12 piece, I'm gonna get a sweet tea and probably nothing else. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks. My pleasure. Okay, I have one quick stop to make before we hit the nest. I gotta mail this out to the winner. Wait a minute. It's Columbus Day, a national holiday here in the US, a terrible national holiday, celebrating Christopher Columbus, the man who supposedly discovered America when there are already tons of people living here when he got here, so. Here it is, sorry, it's coming tomorrow because we're here celebrating a murderer. see how far I can get in the gym alone. Alright. Oh my gosh, Nick, look at this. Uh, whoa, glitch, glitch. Dog's dead. Oh no. Take it out, take it out. Oh. Nice. Yes. That arc mine has 1100 CP more than, did you beat? Yeah, you I did beat. it all the way down? Yay. And there's a sand true here. That arc mine was like almost twice the CP of your vapor. Right? I know, and I still beat it. Good job. This is a very weird looking pool. <laughs> What is this? That is a very, very sad looking pool. No lifeguard on duty. Wait, what? The kid looks like he's catching something. There it is. Just spawned? Yep. Right here, it's at the end of the path. Yay, the fairy. It's 109 for me. All right, well, let's, I'm gonna catch it in the shade. It keeps hitting my pokeballs away and there's no more on sightings. But to be fair, the reports did say that they don't spawn too frequently here. Yeah. We just found our second Clefairy on sightings. So we're gonna continue this path and then we'll go down that way, back towards the gym. We just found it, Clefairy number two. It has body slam and zen headbutt. Now there's just a cube on the side. Mm, keeps breaking out. Oh, this is a great ball. Not many. Oh, they're hitting my Pokeballs away again. Really, Nick? Because I have, look, I, well, all I need to look, do. It broke out of a great ball. All I need to do is use one Pokeball and it's just. I know, you've been having a very easy time with your catches. I know. Look, it broke out again. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nick. All right, Raspberry, great ball. And yours is well, what's this circle? Oh, that's like the same as mine. And mine has higher CP, so I don't know what's going on. Finally. Finally. No more Clefairies. This park doesn't have many like goodish Pokemon. It has the basic rock Pokemon. Like Overall, it's an okay park. If I lived around here, I would probably come here once in a while. So what do you think now? Should we stay for more Clefairies or should we move on to try to find slow pokes? Um, let's try to catch one more Clefairy. One more. All right, let's train the gym a little bit, and then once we see one on sightings, we can track it down. Wait, what's this? I got to use a Paris. This is a good opportunity to use another Pokemon I don't ever get to use. My buddy, Haunter. <laughs> who I'm currently walking with, the one that I caught at Hotel Del Coronado, the one who was actually haunting a haunted hotel. Props to you, Kubo, for killing the nasty Abra. No. I don't know what his charge move is. Let's see, a sludge bomb. Not very effective. But I got it. You Beat can. it with my haunter. Now I need to get out of here. Cool. I'm gonna train with another Pokemon that I really like. 859, not bad. Clefairy number three, right here by the gym with us. Yay! 
You got it? One first ball. try? Oh, I finally got one first try. So, what do you think? Let's go to the slow poke. We're going to move on to the slow poke nest. Yes! Slow poke on the sidings! Slow poke on the sidings. We're here. Park number two. Nest number two. Hartwell Park. Let's see what's going on. This is a very long park. This whole middle area that's not really dark green. And all the way up there, that's all the park. So I'm gonna head back to the Silf Road. 79. That's a slow poke report. Mostly in the middle of the park or towards Carson. Constantly had a slow poke on the nearby. Okay. Well, that's Carson right there. We'll walk down this path to the next street, see if we find anything, and then we'll come back and we'll walk back the opposite direction. Because me and Cassie caught a bunch of bell sprouts over there. So let's go this way first. Oh my god! I've fallen and I can't get up! Oh my. At you least right? I'm not bleeding. You Am good? I right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no slow slowpokes. But I'm gonna walk this way so that I have light on my face. Eggs are hatching. All the 2Ks that I started incubating earlier. Let's stop here in the shade for this. Any guesses, Chance? Uh, First hatch, starter. what do you think it is? The starter. It's not. What is it? Magikarp. That's still good? And uh, it doesn't have good IVs though. I can already tell. Yeah. Maybe you can... Um... Anything over 140 CP on a hatch is going to have decent IVs for Magikarp. We already have a new... Spiro, another bird. Zubat. All I need now is a Rattata to round out these sad, sad hatches. You... I mean, Magikarp's not that bad. Yeah. Right? But all these it's, other it's ones... It's good for candies. But I'm going to catch this Geodude because I think after this, I should have enough to evolve another Golem. Yep, yep. 125. Perfect. And I have a Geodude that's ready to go. Pikachu's still on sightings. Let's hit the corner. Yeah. Alright, here's the gym. Sort of. It's laggy. Flareon, Arcanine, Flareon. Lapras, Ninoqueen, Lapras, Arcanine, Gyarados, Dragonite. Easy. So many overlapping type advantages here. Let's get it done. that and do you guys enjoy watching those long battles I feel like they take so long and they're getting really repetitive for me honestly like doing the same thing battling the same Pokemon using the same Pokemon should I just cut out these long battles altogether and stick to the fun ones where I use interesting Pokemon let me know in the comments if you guys like watching these long ones or if you'd rather see me just use fun stuff or because honestly I'm bored of this or if you want to see me battle or if you want to see Chance battle. 
We're gonna head back towards the part of the park where Cassie and I caught bell sprouts and see if we can find some slow pokes over there. Plus there's someone I need to talk to that's back that way. Slow poke on the sidings. Slow poke on the sidings. Look at it! As we're getting back towards this side of the park, the side where I expected things to be, there is a slow poke on the sidings. So it looks like we're going the right way. Is that the tour? Yeah. But this Gyarados? Here's one creepy child statue. How is that swing levitating? You guys remember this one? Nick, I Weird anti-gravity swinging kids. Ooh, I'm getting eggs again. Oh my god, what is this? Right? Creepy. What the? Hey kid. What is this? Remember that egg you gave me last time? It hatched into a ratata. I'm gonna give you a second chance though. Oh my god. No egg. You didn't want to disappoint me again, did you? This is the side of the park where Cassie and I found a lot of bell sprouts when this was a bell sprout nest. Still no sign of slowpoke. There is an onyx though, so might as well try to catch that. But really, it's been a very slow day. We've seen at least one slowpoke on sightings, but we haven't actually seen any spawn. Just the other day we couldn't catch a kaboot. Rock throw stone egg. Yeah, that's good. If only Onyx had good stats to back it up. But let's at least go spin the Pokestops, and then we can probably turn around and head back to the car, I guess. Maybe there'll be a... Maybe find another Onyx? Maybe a Slowpoke on the sidings? Maybe a Slowpoke? Yeah. I have a feeling I know where this Onyx is going to spawn. What's this? Go plus found something. Onyx. Oh, Onyx, yeah. See? It's almost where I expected it. Here, let me try. Alright. Maybe I can do it. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Let's see. Break free. I knew it. Oh, it ran. There's another Onyx. This slowpoke nest possibly turned into an onyx nest. So that's the third onyx. I'm calling it right there. This is an onyx nest. Oh, there it is. There's the onyx. Could have been catching. Got it. I already caught it. So that's three onyxes. I'm going to report this as an onyx nest, at least this section of the park. Do you think maybe the slowpoke part is the section where we parked? Maybe. Well, let's see. We'll head back to the car and see what we find. Have you guys seen any slow pokes here today? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got one of oh, those really? right there. Nice. Slow poke! Really? Sightings! Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay, let's go. Maybe it's the one that they were just talking about. So, if we just follow the path, we, should find we it. might find it. Let's see. Yep, that's a slow poke. Right here? Well, on the side. Oh, sorry. Right here. I wonder how far we've walked today. Well, my eggs can prove. Let's see. It says 2.3. 2.3. Well, let's see how slow far. Slow poke. Yes! Where? You might have to keep walking. Let's go. There it is! You got it? Nick, yes! What's the slow CP? Pokes. 639 on mine. Oh. Hey Nick. Yeah. I have 18 slowpoke poke candies. Really? All right. If it wasn't for those boys, we wouldn't have gotten a slow poke at all. You driving? No. Nope. Slow poke, sort of a fail. We caught one. We lost one, two, maybe three. Yeah, we actually lost about three. But we did find an onyx nest, so but how I guess that's cool. But how useful is onyx? <laughs> Right, exactly. I'm hungry. You hungry? 
We'll find something to eat. Here it is. My old local in and out I used to live right down the street from this one. So we made it. Bixby Park, a.k.a. Cherry Park, a.k.a. Everybody's skating at the park. Um, there is Gasleon sightings, so that's good news. The bad news is my camera battery is dangerously low. So we're gonna eat, we're gonna try to find some Gasleys, but the footage might be lacking a little bit while we're here, because I really need to conserve battery. No Gasly though, but the reports say that they're down this way, back by the skate park, and the community center, I don't know, yeah. recreation center. Yeah. So we're gonna head back that way and see if we can find some gases over there. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, ghastly. Yeah! Well, sighted. Oh. We got it. It's we got scary. the ghastly. After this, I should have a hundred. And you need a hundred and twenty-five. That's right. There's still another ghastly. Perfect. Here it is. Ghastly number two. Great throw. 201. Great Water. throw. Let's see. Oh. Dang, it keeps breaking free. I know, mine too. I have 17 pokeballs. Oh my gosh. Well, the thing is... Pocket. Fans wants to know what this thing is, and since my mom watches all the videos, I want to have her explain it. It's a Pokemon Go Plus, and 